Hello! You missed your cue. Today we're all... Oh, rude! That's a silent hello. No, we all say hello. Hello! It's always been the thing we do here, and today it isn't for some reason. Uh, today we're here playing a game from Rudiger Dorn called Istanbul, continuing the tradition of playing games in... You know, far, what is that? Middle Eastern area, yeah. West Asia. Yes, we've. Istanbul is located in Turkey. So, this is a game where you're walking around a bazaar with your assistants, trying to collect rubies before the other player. You can think of it as a race. Yeah. And the race here for us is to collect six gems before the other player. I say gems, I mean rubies. And. Yeah, this is a game. It has a great app version if you want to try it and haven't played it yourself. The app is a great integration. But let's take you to the table. Oh, yes. before we do that, I should probably introduce ourselves with this button. Hi. Yay! There we go. There we are. So yeah, that's the thing I forgot. Just like you forgot to say hello. <laughs> All right. I did do this. I guess my mouth Which wasn't is not following what my we hand. do like, here. Ah, ah, you can see ah. it. Uh, we have a guide off screen that says exactly what to do. All right, so we've decided before the game starts that I would be going first, meaning I get two less dollars. She gets three dollars. We each get a card. And beyond that, that's the only difference, really. It's not a huge advantage to go first, but it's not too bad either. So. And once again, we are tile lanes. A tile well, the tiles game. have already been yep. laid. Uh, you can decide the order. You can go random. You can go in the suggested orders they have. You can do whatever you want to do. This is the um, known as the short paths layout because all of the things that we need to reference a lot of are going to be in the center. We won't have to walk long to get to the places we want to go. Um, the rubies are accessible through the uh, through the corners. It just seems like this layout has everything you want and more. But I've played it in all sorts of ways. I've played it completely random. I've played it in the beginner formation, which I think this is the beginner formation. And I need a beginner refresher because, gosh, it's been a little bit. Okay. Well, in this game, you can think of it as a worker placement with some limitations. You're allowed to walk one or two tiles away Kind of similar in the way of five tribes where you can only go not diagonal. So you can go the here, here, or here, 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 or you can go above, there, there, etc. And um, so you're going to have some places you can't go. For example, from the starting area, you're not going to be able to access this, this, or this. Everything else you can pretty much access from there. Whenever you go somewhere, you're going to be leaving or picking up one of your assistants. Your assistants are these little discs that are underneath. You're going to leave one behind to take an action or pick one up to take an action. If you can't do either of those things, then you don't get to take the action. You can still move, but you just don't get anything. For example, if your assistants are all spread out somewhere else and it's just you here, or say you're over here, you want to get back, well, it's just going to take you a little while. You can still move, just can't do anything. And up to two is the max movement? Uh, yes, one or two places is what you're moving. You must move one or two places. You can't stay still. Uh, after that, you're going to have to pay other merchants if you encounter them. In a two-player game, all of the other merchants are present on the board. There's one here in the gemstone dealer. There's one there in the small mosque. And there's one in the great mosque. Also, there's the other player you have to worry about wherever they happen to be. And you have to pay $2 to them just to go to that space. I need a lot of money in this game. In this case, yes. In two players. If you can't pay them, your turn ends immediately. Just, same goes for if you can't take the action, your turn ends immediately. So let's say you've made the move, you dropped off a assistant or you picked up an assistant. And let's say you paid the two lira if you had to. Well, now you can finally carry out the action of the place. Each place has their own actions. All of them are different. For example, the fruit warehouse, fabric warehouse, spice warehouse, the warehouses will max out these particular goods on your board. 
When you go there, you will max them out by mo moving this little block to the right, oh. indicating how many of those you have. You'll notice there isn't one for blue because it's the harder thing to get. The way you get that is going through the black market or very by getting these uh, large hey, market slivers. and small market. Hello, slivers! So that's how you can get uh, these blue rings, jewelry, I suppose. You can get more slots by going to the Wayne. Wainwright. This is will will help you build your cart, and you'll be adding them to your little tableau to allow you to hold even more goods. That'll cost you seven bucks each time you do it, though. When you fill up your whole board, you get a ruby for it. Let me take you up to these. These little tiles will help you along the way. These are on the mosques, the small and the great mosque. If you manage to get all two of them on one thing, you get a ruby. Get two on that one, that's another ruby. So that's three ways you can get rubies right there. Another way you can get rubies is by going to the Sultan's Palace or the Gemstone Dealer. You have to pay whatever is listed to the left of the gem in order to get the gem next to it. Plus, pay this guy. Plus, you got to pay that guy. So that's the case here. That's going to go up if that gem gets taken. Over here, you have to pay everything prior to it because these have plus symbols. These have little arrow symbols. So you have to pay all these goods to get that mm -hmm. gem. And he's never going to move, right? He's, he's just never going to move. He's no. going to stay there. Another way to get the uh, jewelry is in the post office. Every time someone goes to the post office, they take whatever's shown, and they have to move the leftmost block down. So the next person that goes there is going to get whatever's shown there. Then that block's going to move down, so on and so forth. If all the blocks are down and someone grabs all the top things, they all reset. Next up, we have the police station. This is where your uh, your drunk uncle lives, I think is what we were yeah. calling in the past. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So whenever you go to the police station, you can like, send the drunk uncle somewhere else. He does not have a limitation as far as where he goes, but he can go do work for you somewhere else. I feel like Fred was one of the names that came up for some crazy reason. I think reason. I just called it drunk uncle. Yeah. Um, really, it's called a family member. <laughs> In this case, drunk uncle. That's <coughs> the family member. Next up, we're going to have the caniversary. The caniversary. Caniversary. Caravansary. <laughs> there it is. Just took a little while to say it. Caravansary. There's no. It's caravansary. Caravansary. Yes. So this is where you can get some cards. Um, so in that one, you can specifically take cards. Two, play one. Right. Yeah. I just wanted to be correct. Take two bonus cards. Discard one from your hand. When taking bonus cards, you can also take them face up from the pile that's going to be formed here, which is the discard pile. Now, whenever you take two bonus cards from your hand, you already have a hand, or let's say you do have a hand, you can discard a different card. So you can keep the two you took, discard some other card, as long as you return something. Next to it's the black market. You can pay a good of any type except for blue, plus you're going to roll the dice. If the results are, oh. for example, this, you would take three blue. Oh, that'd be nice. Or less than that, two blue or one blue. Across from that is the tea house. That's where people like to gamble. What you do when you go there is you say a number, and if you roll equal or greater than that number, you get the number that you say. All right, I'll say six. You roll an eight, so you would get six. If you did not roll a six, if you rolled a five, for example, you would only get two dollars. Hmm. Um, additionally, there are these people. This is the uh, smuggler and this is the governor. Mm -hmm. They're located on various places and they'll be moving around the board. But after you've taken the action of the place, you can then encounter certain people, either other family members, the governor or the smuggler. And uh, they have different options to get different cards. For example, this kind of helps you seeing that. that this guy oh, yeah, will help you the, get goods. This smuggler. guy helps you get cards. Yeah, take one good. <coughs> Give back one good. Or yeah. pay to Lara. Mm -hmm. Roll the dice for his new location. So at the end, then you'd roll the dice for whatever number. And yeah. the numbers are on the Lira. places. Finally, we have the markets. 
pay money to take the stuff. Pretty straightforward on that. Yep. If you can't pay enough, say so you only paid to get three, choose the, uh, I mean, you get this much money. Yeah. So if you have all these goods, which... You get 20. You get 20 it, bucks. And then it would like shift. <coughs> you shift them all down here in your inventory and you get 20 bucks. And then that would, this goes away and that another one yeah, goes Yeah, this up. one gets covered up yeah. and they cycle around. All right. Any questions? I think we're all caught up. All right. Well, then if you're caught up, I go first. There's a bunch of these cards, and then we have a guide for all of these. Which I can uh, adjust this here. Put my money up here. Put these cards up here. This is the first player token. Don't really need to see that anymore. The game ends when somebody collects all rubies, but it is an even turns game, so you will be ending the game, so there's a possibility that we both end with all the rubies, hmm. which case we'll go into the tiebreaker, but we don't even need to read that until it happens. Pretty sure, I'm going to read it anyway, just in case you want to keep it in mind. Um, most leftover lira, followed by the most leftover goods on the wheelbarrow, followed by the leftover bonus cards. All right, well, let's go figure this out. Um, I think I'm going to go to this place. I'll drop off a guy here. Playing a card? Or, wait, you no, grab two and discard one? Yeah, I'm going to grab two and discard one. Move one. Uh, okay. I'm going to grab two cards. Gonna grab, hmm. Let's go with this one. And so this one goes, oh wait, I'm gonna put this one back. It goes face up here. And now I'm going to encounter the smuggler. The smuggler, so you take one good. I could take one good and pay two lira. Give back one good or pay two lira. Okay, I'm taking a red and I'm paying two lira so I don't have to pay him back a good. And then roll the dice for his new location. His new location will be five. He's going to the post office. Post office. All right, over to you. Well, I'm going to go visit him at the post office. So I am to take two monies, a green and a yellow, and are we allowed to take the blue ones from the smuggler? <coughs> what? We're we allowed to take the blue ones from the smuggler? What's sm Yeah, yeah, if you want. Take one good, so I could take this blue one from him and pay those well, two monies not... I just got? Because I'm at the post office. So oh, I just okay, got so you money. carried out the post office stuff. Like, I did the yellow and the green, and then this moves down. And then okay. the smuggler, I'm going to pay the two money I just got from the post office for him to give me the blue and not have to give back anything. All right. And that is that. Oh, wait, I roll for his new location. Mm -hmm. It is six. six. He's Coming going back. Oh, <laughs> he's no, going. No, it doesn't matter. He's going back. Because I'm leaving. I miss this place. I'm going to go police station. Oh, I send drunk you... uncle out. Send them back to the police station. No, no, no. He's going out. <coughs> He's going up to the post office. So the family member doesn't have to do encounters. He doesn't have to pay lira, extra lira, or anything like that. Wait. What about this? If you encounter other family members. I'm not encountering other... them because I'm at the police station. Technically, your guy's in jail. But you can release them if you go there. Oh, wait. Move your stack to places and. All right. So I'm going to Where's the post office about twice. The family members. What do you mean? Like, where does it say, like, about moving the family members from the police station? In the book. Oh. So you just send them anywhere? Send them anywhere you want. You don't have to worry about encounters. 
But do I have to worry about the encounter now? No. Oh, okay. It's only if you go somewhere where another... Um, oh, so like if I were it. to go in there to the post office, if I wasn't already there, if and you were carrying in there, out I would the post send office him back to the post... The... And you would get stuff for it, good stuff. But since he's already there, and then nothing happens. Next time you go back there, you can send him back. Oh, okay. Okay. And now do you get that stuff? Like the family member gets you the post office He is things? getting me that stuff two times because I am cashing in a card, which I think goes here. I'll double check that in a second. But um, so I'm going to take the red, $2, $2, and a yellow, and then this goes, goes down. down. Oh, more money. And now I'm reconsidering doing the 2x because it's like I took the wrong good when I encountered this guy. Well, honestly, I didn't think you'd go to the post office. <laughs> Thought there were far better places to go. Well, yep. the smuggler went there. I figured, yeah, seems good. I'll go to the smuggler. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... Well, it's only going to get me... Yeah, I could use the money. Yeah, three dollars, please. Three. You get three bucks. One, two, three. All right. That's... Uh, Did you get your blue and red? I blue. No. I only got the red and yellow. Oh. <laughs> she did. <laughs> it was unpredictable that she would do that. Yes, I had an important letter to deliver. I had to go straight away. A lot of times when I play this, you know, I play against like the AI and I could kind of guess what they're going to do because I could see what the best move is. But now I'm playing against Melissa. I can't see that. It's very difficult. I don't know. I don't know what the best move is. Yeah. I'm going here. I'm maxing out my red. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. My turn was short. Yeah, I'm just making sure where the discards go when you use them. Pretty sure that's where they go. Oh, to that spot. Can yes. Bonus spot? cards. Face up on the carrot. Yeah, every every one of them. All right, I could use some money, so let's go get some money. But first. Let's move here and get the uh, get the greens. Do I have to pay anything other than that money to the white <coughs> player? What? To go there, like to get that thing. Okay. I just pay these goods. Let me tell you about these good. I mean, first one requires three. Next one requires five. Right, yeah. However, you can see there's three icons. One of them has an arrow. It's only checking to see if you have them. It's not going to take them from you? One of them it does. It's going to take one of them. The others get to stay. And I will tell you now that none of us have three. <laughs> because we all start with a max of two. Ah, oh, I see. Now i got to go so get So before this you thing. decide to go over there... But i got to get the money. I just wanted to let you know. Um, so it is your turn. Um, I'm going to go to the police station. Send my junk. I'll go out into the world. <coughs> Where's he going? He's going to the tea house. He's going gambling. Okay. To make some money. Well, there's your dice. Maybe. I'm going to say six. You rolled seven. What does that mean? That means you get six bucks. Yay! You rolled greater than or equal to, so you get what you said. 
good. So that might be a safe number. All right, now what about this this purple dude? Um, Does the family member encounter him? You the governor? Don't, you don't do encounters. The family member doesn't do encounters? Correct. That's why I didn't have to pay you money or anything like that. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So there we go. I mean, I can verify, but I'm pretty sure it says it right there. Yep, your family member does not have encounters. That's oh, you. That was a cat. All right. I'm going down here. And I'm turning in one red and two of the yellows and greens, and I'm going to get $20, please. Oh! I didn't have all those thingies. You're close. I thought you were going for it. <laughs> no, I didn't have enough. That'll work. I think I'm spending it soon anyway. So this, oops, this goes to the bottom. The next one is revealed. Oh no, you're pretty close to that, huh? I'm going here to the post office. <coughs> okay. I have more letters to deliver. You don't lay down one of your people. You get to pick up the person. Oh, I get to pick up? Yay! Yeah. All right. I picked up my person for the post office. I delivered their letter. And now, what happens to that family member? Gets sent back to, to the police station? Not yet. Oh, okay. So, okay. first off, you carry out the action of the place. You get a red. I'm already maxed out on okay, red. Okay, you get a blue. That I do need. And you get three dollars. Yay, I like money. And now you move the cube. One, two, three. Move uh, the cube down. The cube, oh yes, yep. this, this cube down. Now you handle any encounters, which All would right. be, you could send him back to Other the police family. station. Send them back to the police station, take one bonus card, or three. Lira. Each of them. Yep. Oh, for each of them. You want $3 or a bonus card? Um, bonus cards can have $5 or some other ability. Well, you I'll can take see a bonus card. All right, we'll send them back. Going back. You get a bonus card. Yeah. Ooh, cool. And that's your turn. Do I just use this right now if it's a money thing? Or if you'd I... like, yeah. Yay, I made five bucks. So it goes here. All right. And I'm done. Yes, you are. All right, so I have some money. I could run down there and get some, get a gem going, but I'm actually out of people, so I think I'm gonna have to go here first. And the caravansary. So you can take two cards from there. Or you can take cards from I can the, take them from the top of the pile, which I already know are two pretty good things. So I think I'm going to take these two. You choose one. Uh, or you discard one. Yeah, discard one. Hmm. What's worth more to me? Going two times is not too shabby, but also five bucks is pretty good too. You don't know what else I had in my hand, though. <gasps> All right, and now I got to deal with this smuggler. So I will take a good and give back. Well, oh, actually, I got tons of lira. Now's the time to do that. Let's see. So if I do this, do that. Hmm. I'll take, I'll take a blue from him, and I'll pay him two lira for it. And now he's going to move to the three. The three is located at the spice warehouse. You don't like the way you spice. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to. Hmm. Choices, choices. By the way, the fountain, I didn't properly tell you what that is, but that I think you remember. Yeah. You That's how all of you guys come back to you. Um, Before you left, you said, everyone, if we get lost, meet at the fountain. Hmm. 
So you have choices in the fabric warehouse and the police station of putting your guys back on. Otherwise, you're going to have to take your people off. But if I go to the police station, there's not much to do. Correct. Because your guy is out. In fact, there's nothing to do. I'm going to go... You're better off going to the fountain at that point. One, two. Oh. Oh, wait. You're there. Yes, I, I want to go there. Well, you can pay me $2 to go there. No, I don't want to pay you. <coughs> I don't mind. Um, I'm going to fountain. Okay. That's early fountain, I will tell you. Okay. Great. I'm going up to... I think I'll go here. Out he goes into the yeah, world. Yeah, because I don't mind giving you doubles. So we're going back up. I mean, giving you the uh, the Ooh. benefits. Give me a buck. So I'm taking four dollars plus a red and, and a blue. blue, and then I'm going to trigger it once more. All these shift. I'm going to get a green, yellow, and two dollars. Oh, two dollars. <laughs> it's not the same thing as before. No, ah. not quite. And now does something come down? Yes. And that's my turn. Okay, I go one, two. I'm paying seven dollars. Five, mm -hmm. six, Seven. Give me one of these. Okay. Let's go to south here. <gasps> yeah, we picked up at the police station. That's why there's nothing left there. So I'm going to drop off at the large market and pay two blues, two reds, and a green to collect $25, please. Did you ship this already for the I last did. One? Okay, yeah. We need too much money. Oh, I'm about to spend it all. Go ahead. Um, I'm playing this card. You'll have to move. Uh, no, that says you move three or four spots. Stay put. You're reading the one below it. Oh no! I read the wrong one! Correct, oh, you read the wrong shenanigans. one. shenanigans. Move three to four instead of just one or two. A little... Da. I got the wrong card. Yeah. Backwards, backwards. <coughs> oh, uh, the black market. Did I tell you you spin this? I think I did. You get one of these things. Is what you get. You get one of these things, plus you get to roll. Oh, well, I don't think I want to move that much yet. I forgot to. Well, maybe. I don't know. Where do I want to go? I only have... Depends something. what you want to do. That'll open up the board to you. Almost. Um... No, I think I'm just going to go to the Sult... Do I have enough for the Sultan's Palace? Yeah, you do. All right, I'm just going to go there. I don't... It'll be your first ruby. And one, two. Ruby! So one blue, mm -hmm. one red, one green, one yellow, and one red. Ruby! Cool. I think I'll go hmm. thinking, thinking. No, that's not quite worth it anymore. Um Ooh, the cat came back. Yep. And plop. <coughs> Let's go. I mean, I know what I want to do, but I know also know what I should do. I think I need to plan properly, and I'm just not there. So I'm going to go. I'm not at risk of you buying anything except for random things. So let's go. Let's go to the Wainwright. Seven bucks. Mm 
Oops. Yeah. Backwards. You put money in the wrong, the wrong treasury. All right, okay. go ahead. I'm going to go to the pineapple fruit warehouse and max out on the pineapples. All right. This is the move I never like taking. Go into the fountain. <gasps> I don't like going to the fountain. I feel like it's a wasted move. I went to the fountain. It was nice. Okay. All right. I'm going here. Typically, I like the, you know, to work it out. I have to pay this guy two bucks. Two bucks. To just to visit his warehouse right. mosque or whatever it is. Yeah, but now you can do the action. Now I have these three pineapples. So you pay oh, one and one. you get that. Yeah. Do you know what it does? Two coins and then you uh, stack something. Yeah, you can uh, move one assistant back to your merchant. For two bucks. Anywhere? Mm -hmm. I would have used it <laughs> if I had it. Okay, so I did that. Um, You're done. That paid his money, so I'm good. Yeah. All right, coming back down here to the wing right. Seven dollars. Go ahead. I'm gonna use my little card. Okay, you're gonna move. One, two, three. To the fountain. Everybody, come back. Really? You could have gone anywhere. All right. It's just quicker to get back to the fountain. Going to the gemstone dealer. I'm gonna pay this guy two dollars. Plus, I'm going to pay $15, so a total of 17 So I will need $3 and change, please. I get a ruby. First of six. Even though you already have one. You have your first of six. Go ahead. Um, I will come down here. To the wing right. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven. Oh. Now I am broke. <laughs> Almost. I have one buck. All right. Well, I think we'll go to the tea house. I don't want to pay you any money. So, may as well gamble, and I'll do it for seven. Wait, don't you send my little uncle back to the police Not station? Not yet. That's the last thing you do. Oh, okay. So, seven. Got it. Seven dollars, please. <coughs> Thank you. And then we're going to first take care of the family member. I'm going to take a card. Card can have all sorts of cool treasures on it. And this one does. And now the governor, take a bonus card and then discard a card or pay two lira. I'll pay two lira. And I'll roll to move him. Seven. He fountain. Goes, oh, to the fountain. Mm -hmm. Bye, Governor. All right. Now it's your Where turn. shall I go? I only have one blue. I got two pineapples. The family member went to the police station to gambling hall back to the police station. <laughs> yes. This mimics real life. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to. <laughs> but my family member has broken out of jail to go to the post office twice. <laughs> I'm going to go to... Hers the, goes gambling. Um, one, two. I got to mail this letter. I'm going to take these. Okay. You could have ones off the top. But, um, oh, I could take but them. But you have to draw them in order, I believe. Um, From the top of the face-up pile, yeah. Let me draw this one. Sure. And then one random. There you go. The same thing. Yes. Yeah, that happens Uncle. a lot. Uh, well, do I want to do one action twice, or get five bucks? I think I'm gonna do this one. So there we go. Okay. Oh, this was a discard. Oh, this should have been discarded. Oh, you're right. That would have been on top then. That would have been on top. 
I took this one. That would have been the second card. So put that five back over there. That wouldn't have ever come out. We'll just shuffle it up. So this thing, yeah. you have to take it. But I am i don't want that one. I want this. Okay, so you drew two cards, right? That mm -hmm. was the second card. So this was the first card. Mm -hmm. What'd you discard? Then I'll throw that back. And that thing would have never come out. That would just gotcha. sit on the top of the... There, there we go. Okay. Fair enough. But now that we know it Result! is, I'll shuffle it. Okay. Next time, put your cards where they're supposed to <gasps> go. My cards were not in their proper spot. Come in here. $7. That's a ruby. Now... You can put, go ahead and put a ruby there, because if you finish it, you also get a ruby. Oh. That's not like a first to finish type of deal. Oh, okay. That's cool. <coughs> um, I'm going to go to the tea house. I'd like me some tea. Gamble it up, just like your uncle. Seven! You rolled a seven. Woohoo! go hmm this requires six goods here huh? the problem is I'm nowhere near goods right now and I really don't want to go back to that fountain I'm just next to money stuff so I feel like all the goods are at the top all the this other stuff is at the bottom you can go to the black market Pay a pineapple. I can't go there. That's three spaces away. Oh. Oh, wait. You don't pay pineapples. You get pineapples. Or I think I'll go something else. here. Actually, I'm not quite done with the money thing, am I? Uh, you don't have any money, though. You're not really a threat <laughs> when it comes to that. But I may as well take care of it while I'm here. Let's go ahead and go here. $16. Plus the 20. two. Plus the two for the man. Give me back two. So it's 18. Yeah, that's fine. Give me back two. There you go. My turn. It is. One, two. Seven dollars. Five, six, seven. Finish this out. Mm hmm. And get the ruby. You do. And you only have to replenish it because we're the only two players here. <laughs> What were your right squares camera. at? Oh, I only had like one pineapple. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I had one blue. Really? Didn't I have a blue? Or did I have I no idea. Blue? Somebody, look! <laughs> you were supposed to know before you picked up your board and slammed it against the table. <sighs> no, I didn't have any reds or... Oh wait, no. It's fine, blue. take whatever you want. I don't know, maybe ramp can help. No, no one can help. You're supposed to know these things. All right. Do you know of that? Pretty sure I'm going up to the spice warehouse. Or maybe in a blue. I get what all greens. I don't remember. Blues are very valuable. So, where'd you get the blue? I've had blues. I got blues from the post office. Mm hmm. But you spent them here. Spent at least one there. I spent one blue there, but I got two. Where'd you get your second blue from? Post office again? I think so. Well, the first post office you went to, you only got the bottom row. That means only the second post office visit got you that. So I don't know. Maybe from the uh, smuggler? Ah, uh, two, one blue and two pineapples. Oh, two ah, pineapples. Appreciate you. it, Ramp. Yes, thank you. I was like, I know I had at least pineapple. So, because <laughs> at one point I maxed them out. Yes, before you pick up this. your board with. Yeah, it's just like I'm very angry because this wouldn't fit. I'm like, why wouldn't it fit on my caravan? But, okay, <coughs> my wool barrels is fixed now. Thank you, Ramp. I'm going to take a I blue. I must have gotten two blues from the post I'm office. I'm going to give back a green. Because I haven't gotten from bonus cards. Hmm. And then the smuggler will walk. Over to 
The 10. The 10? The large market. Go ahead. All right. Oh, why'd you go to the spice warehouse? Don't have I need any money to pay you. Oh, then you won't be able to take that action. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going back to the tea house. Back to gambling. Gamble, gamble, gamble. When there's nothing else, you gamble. Yep. Uh, Dice right here. I'm going to say six. Don't believe in the seven, huh? You got 11, so you get six. Yeah, I should have said more. Just 11. I was being careful. I'm a careful mm -hmm. gambler. Like most gamblers. Yeah, I should have went for broke. I should have said 12. I lost it all. Here. I got to pay this guy $2. And I have the green, so I'm going to pay one green, and I'll take that green. Oh, this green thing. Yes. Which is when you I use one of the three warehouses, I can pay two bucks to gain an additional type of any type. Oh. Go ahead. I now go to this warehouse. Spice. That's a lot of spice. Yes, it is. Hmm. I have some choices here. I think I'll go. I think I'll just go to the fabric warehouse. Here's your money. Hey, I'll take it. I needed that. You know, I was, I was, I needed the $2 to go back to that white tile up here. So thanks for giving me that. So now I can go there. Because before I wasn't going to make it. Ah! So I appreciate that. I'll pay the one red. I'll take this. And the gem that comes with it. A ruby. Didn't really need to max it out, but I wanted to go to the small market and I had no reds. Yeah, well, you can get 20 bucks now. Yep. Down to the small market. Because now I have a blue. Uh, do I have to spin these? Of course. Blue. Red. Pineapple. Two greens. Two. All right, $20 for you. Let me sh shuffle that back to the back. And we get our new tile. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just don't see myself going back to the tea house. So it makes sense for me to go to the market. Since I, had, I mean the fountain. It makes sense for me to go to the fountain because... I must go to the fountain. I don't have any more people under my Oh, person. that's even a better thing because now you're going to have to pay me money. You have to pay money at the fountain? No, that should be no, like a I don't like think you do. Yeah, that should be like the one neutral zone. Like you don't have to pay at the fountain because no, like you don't have to pay other merchants. Yes, yeah, like, like come on now. Okay. I must go back. Well, I don't it's have not a choice. Turn yet, so I'm getting back all this stuff, and I get to talk to the governor while I'm here. Oh, oh, because then he's gonna move. That's, That's right. the incentive that paying the governor. The governor. Yeah, no camping the oh, fountain. Yeah, <laughs> but I want to. Like, I must be allowed to go to the fountain. All right, I'll go ahead and use this uh, this card. Actually, oh, I'm not going I gotta, to the fountain. I got to pay a card for it. So I'm I will pay this card. not go to the fountain. Not yet. I'm going to use this card that Governor gave me to send my... Drunk uncle back to, to the police station. And I get to take a bonus card or three lira. I think I'll take a bonus card. It seems like I just, just take this one. 
Is that right? That doesn't seem right. So I'm going to take from here <laughs> just so I don't have to look it up. Okay. Seems good. I'm not going to the fountain yet. I'm going back to the spider <coughs> warehouse. Grabbing this guy, maxing this back out. Okay. I'm going to go to the small market. We're going to go down three green. One, two, three. And down a, down a red. And down a pineapple. And that's $20. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go here. Get this thing. Just cost you one green. One green. Let's walk over to the black market. I'm going to gain. I'll gain a green. And then I'll roll dice and see oh, how many so blue I get. Here. If you want. Yeah, it doesn't have to be there. I just like to put them there. That's just a roll. I mean, technically, they're there through art. Uh, I'm going to roll all the way up here just to. That's a 10. Mm, you get two blues. I get two blues, yeah. Right, I'm going back to the fabric warehouse. Oh, I love the way I look. Um, let's go up to the Great Mosque. We're going to get our extra dude. I have three blues. Pay one of them. And there we go. Okay, go back here. Grab this guy up. Pay the one red. Get this thing. Grab the ruby. Mm hmm. Pay the guy two dollars. Because I didn't. I need to pay this guy two dollars. Oh, I did not pay him two dollars. Did I pay him $2 the last time I went there? I have no idea. Just pay him for this time. I need $8 back, please. I forgot to pay. All right. I don't think I, I, I So you just went? Remember. Yes. Now it's my turn. Let's go here. Did you pay your yellow guy? That's what I just did. Oh. <laughs> That's what I just paid for. Oh, I paid for the, the other. Okay. Back to you. I just maxed out purple, uh, pineapples. The fruit. Back to de housing. Seven. Seven. You rolled an eight. Yay! I got it. All right, moving up here for the pineapples, paying $2 for the guy. And I'll take that and the ruby. Fifth ruby <gasps> attained. One more. Two for the dude. Mm -hmm. 17 for the ruby. Mm -hmm. So get three back. Yeah, I guess. Well, seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> Police station to the Sultan's Palace. Two blue, a red. A green, a yellow, and one of anything else to get a ruby. For my sixth ruby. <gasps> and it's equal get... turns, but I have no way to get two rubies. It would be very difficult, but you do get to try I'm to at least get one. A, I'm already in a ruby place. <coughs> True. I don't know what card you have, though. So I have this, like, do <laughs> double, but I didn't have enough money for that. 
I don't think I can get another ruby because I'm too afraid. I'm too far away from my uncle who's back in the police station. True. Um, I don't have any blues to do any of the other stuff to get the. I don't have any blues to get the great mosque. Even if I could get there, I don't have any blues to do the sultan. I'm already in the gym dealers area, and that's the only other place is getting gyms right now. So I think that's it. That's a wrap. Yep. The best I could do is get more money. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to the fireworks for me tea house and roll it on up for a seven. Let's go eleven. Oh, you lost uh, your last bet. Lost you my get last two dollars. Uh, <laughs> get two two bucks on the tea house. Well, that's his temple. Yep. That's a quick game, but even though it it, it did take an hour, but. That's with all of our introductions and everything like that. Yeah, too. well, and it's like a 45 minute or four, what is the number of the box? It's like 45 to thought, an hour or something like that. Oh, I thought it was longer than that. Mm -mm. I think it's just um, like under an hour. Really? It's pretty sure it's like at an hour. Yeah, 40 to 60 minutes. Yeah. So that's actually, I mean, even with the introductions and the little reteach, so yeah, about 45 minutes to play. And that's at two players. It's going to be a longer yeah. game at anything more than and that. And this is the short short paths yeah, i don't know what that so. means exactly but it's the setup with the shorter paths i felt like it was longer because all the goods are on one side and all the money things were on the other side so i was like what short mm -hmm. paths <laughs> i like it to have a mix so i can figure out a trail to go along yeah it was a lot of like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth i felt like i just kind of like went to the post office went back went to the this went back went to this went back like a kind kind of just stayed right here in this one little area which I guess that's what it means. So short paths, like you can just go one, two, go to something, one, mm -hmm. two, go to something, one, two, go. Because you can only move one to two. So maybe so that's how many moves would have, have taken you to finish out your board? Oh, gosh. Like, I have no goods as far as blues. Mm. And I really have no good way to get it, get them. Mm -hmm. um, I would have had to make my way all the way to black market, hope for the best, or I would have had to go up to the post office multi. I mean, I was just really far away because I didn't have enough goods to go to the Sultan's Palace, nor did I have enough money to get the gym dealer. I had extra goods in my hand plus boys to get more money. So see, this really hurt having this dude right here the whole time in the gym dealer because you oh, yeah, pay yeah. two extra dollars. So this is twenty bucks. You would have had to go here to try to get the money, go back here, and then paying extra money or go to the large market, you know, you constantly have ways to get money, but I wasn't getting enough money. Well, my strategy was sell early to get the Wainwright. Then I would go to the goods are up. Yeah. Because these things were so close to each other. So I was just like, okay, I'll, once I go up there, I can take care of all that. But yeah, I still like this game. It's been around for quite some time yeah. for me. It has the same kind of feeling like it did with uh, playing um, Five Tribes yesterday. Like this, mm -hmm. it had, kind of has that similar feel to it. It's a older game, but still pretty. Two thousand fourteen. Yeah, it's not. It's not so old. It's a classic now, but it's not so new that it's a new game. It's kind of like in that in between time frame of like not old but not new. Need new friends. Mine are too bossy. Oh, too bossy. <laughs> Bossy friends. Well, there's oh. got to be one of them. Ain't nobody got no time. One of them is bossy all the time. That's fine. Oh, you've been lurking. Aww. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the lurk. Yeah, we've just been playing Istanbul, not Constantinople. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're about to wrap it up here. We wanted mm -hmm. to do something a little shorter since, you know, my voice is still not there. Yes, there was, like, I was actually shocked that you were going to, like, be able to physically talks through the entire stream tonight because like you were coughing earlier and I was like Rrr. yeah so it's getting kind of a little raspy but yeah let's talk about what we have coming up so Yay. on wednesday it's a digital wednesday as far as i know we'll be here yes <laughs> so. well wednesday wait that's the first, it's January. It's New New Year's. It's New Year's Day. Oh, New Year's Day! How about that? Yeah. And uh, special thanks to Blood Boiler once again, Yay. Patreon champion. You can be a champion too at Patreon. Um. So, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, New Year's Day should be fun. I mean, we don't we don't have anything. We're old, so we don't yeah. have anything planned for New Year's. We might be. Uh, I'm sure Melissa's going to be live tomorrow. Tabletop Simulator. Well, I think we're going to be. You on... have Tabletop Sim. The thing is, I played Tabletop Simulator like twice, and I'm okay at it. I'm not great at it, though. 
Yeah, I think we, we have like Board Game Arena. That's Board what, Game Arena? Yeah, is that's what we've been playing Way on. easier it's to use. It's so like player friendly. Like Unless you easy. have a specific game in mind for Tabletop Simulator, uh, then let us know. Because yeah. even Board Game Arena, it's free. It's free to like. Yeah, Board Game Arena yeah. is free. BoardGameArena.com, just make an account there. And then you can join any of the games we play. I'll teach you how to play them. They're, most of the games we play are pretty easy, very accessible. And uh, like one of the games we play that we have a lot of fun, Ink and Gold, it's a yes or no choice. That's all you're making the whole time, but it's still really fun. I have Clue from the Workshop. Yeah, I have a lot of games from the Workshop as well. Hmm. Um, but yeah, Tabletop Sim, it's so advanced. Yeah, I've never played it. I've never played on tabletop. It, it's easiest to use. Just got here from my tile base game, put a magnetic mat down, then use the magnet to hold the card in the place so I don't shift. And yeah, this one did a pretty good job of not shifting. Like, uh, it's all still yeah, here. Yeah, the only thing, we had to rely on Ramp to help me out because I got mad and got mad at my little caravan thing oh, yeah, and the you whole start shaking shake, your thing, shake the yeah. things like, whoa, <laughs> where'd the things go? But Ramp had our back. Yeah. Yeah, it is at this point in time that. Yeah, Even though it was short, it's fine. Yeah, a little short. short one tonight. Our um, games over here. Got just got to rest his voice. So <laughs> yeah, this is, we're uh, able to be back on Wednesday. Yep, found a lot of the card based games. Kind of move around with the mat. Yeah, this one is heavy tile, heavy large tiles in Istanbul. So it's uh, you know really big tiles. Or they yeah. don't move very much. And they do have. I think we're okay. Yeah, the, and they have ability to you know be all different. Arrangements, so that's pretty yeah. cool too. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, let's head over to into the Meepleverse. We see they're streaming Ganshan's Clever and other Roll and Rights today. Nice. And I think they're playing a different Roll and Right. Oh, they're playing Welcome to right now. Oh, Welcome to. So nice. Welcome to is actually a game. If you have the board, which if you have an iPad, you can just download. There's an app for the board, and you can play along with them as they're showing off the things. You can see how you do against them. And it looks like they're going through the uh, teaching right now. So this is a good time to head over there. So we're going to head over there, say hello with our meeples and all that fun stuff. And until next time, the box is, is closed. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow at Melissa Singh Stream. Bye.